I get the question sometimes, what is the best stretch or what is the best exercise uh, that I can do for low back pain uh, or that I can do to manage my disc bulge or my disc pain. To understand that, we need to know what stage are you in. So this video is going to talk about the stages of disc injuries because depending on what stage the disc is injured in, uh, that's going to kind of tell us a little bit more about what stretches or exercises might be best. So let's talk about the disc again really quickly. You've got your spine here, and in between each of the bones of the spine, we have these discs. I've mentioned in other videos, these discs are spacers and shock absorbers. It's what allows us to be capable of moving. Now I have other videos where I describe kind of the mechanisms of injury, so if you're interested, you can go watch those. But for right now, let's talk about these stages of these disc injuries. So if we look inside, so I kind of just took this out from that spine. There's that disc that I talk about. We're going to turn it this way and look at it. Right in through here, this middle part, that is more of a fluid type of a material right here. This outer layer is more of a cartilage kind of a material. The first thing that can happen is this starts to go this way. We have certain amount of pressures in the front of the spine and it pushes that middle disc part or that middle uh, fluid part backwards. And that's what this is showing here. So these fibers on this outer layer of the disc, they just start to break apart, they break away, and boom, this goes backwards. This is the back part. We look at it there, and that disc bulge is bringing it backwards there. So that's the beginning stages of a disc bulge right there. They call this contained because it hasn't gone all the way out yet. Once it gets to a certain layer out here, it can cause back pain. Very um, diffuse back pain. Second stage, if it goes out far enough, now what we have is a full disc bulge. They call that non-contained because it's not contained anymore. It goes out. These are the ones that can pinch on a nerve, like this is showing here. It's kind of showing that right there, pinching on that nerve. And these are the ones that can cause what they call sciatica or leg pain. Those can heal. And I have other videos demonstrating on how you can heal these disc bulges. It just takes time and doing the right things, and more importantly, uh, what not to do. The third thing that can happen is once we have those disc bulges for a while, the space is decreased. And pretend I have a bone here and a bone here, and when that space decreases, it's kind of like a flat tire. It goes like this. And then what can happen is, well, it can, it can shear back and forth. And they, they call that shearing, and it leads to instability. And once you have instability, well, that's where the strengthening exercises come in. So if you're interested in what to do for a disc bulge, I have other videos uh, how to treat disc bulges, the best healing methods for disc bulges. It will all be in the, um, uh, the links below. But then also the best stretches and exercises. But keep in mind that these depend on which stage that you're in. So know the stage that you're in, and then you can figure out you know, what's the best uh, stretch and or exercise that I can do. So I hope you enjoy. If you like it, give it those thumbs up, and go check out some of those uh, other videos so you can figure out how to heal this on your own.